Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're the Real House Eyes of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. This is Ronnie. She's got her Christmas color on. I can't find the plaid ones that I just bought last year. And look at Piper's dress. Her little fur collar. <laughs> so cute. I mean, you want to say hello? He was just eating applesauce. So it is all over his face. <laughs> say hi, friends. Say hi. <laughs> okay, thank you. We're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. Good morning. Good mm -hmm. afternoon. By the time you see this, good evening. And we were failures last week. We did not get the home tour filmed. It's planned for tomorrow, but then yeah. we probably won't put it up till Wednesday by the time it gets all put together. Right. And we we had to wait for a cloudy day and then the cloudy day. And on cloudy days, my house is messy. <laughs> <laughs> it just happened to be like that. Uh, what else did we do? <laughs> no, we, we shipped out patterns this week. Yes. Uh, so your shop should be getting them in the near future. And then if you've ordered them, they will ship them out to you. Or if you want to go into your brick and mortar store, you can certainly do that as well. And we've been stitching with our Jolly Housewives Stitch Along with Fat Quarter Shop. Yep. And We're excited mm -hmm. to see everybody who has posted in the hashtags and seeing all of your progress. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's been a lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. All right, so we will jump into questions. Uh, P. Chaplin wanted to know, help, I live in a very hot climate. I stored my finished ornaments in the shed outside. The glue on some of my finishes got distorted and melted. What is a safe way to store them or an alternative glue to use for finishes besides the hot glue gun? Thanks in advance. So I don't know if E6000 would be any better, but you could try that. But I would definitely not store them outside if you live in a really hot place. I would try to find like... Under the bed storage right, if you can. Somewhere. Top of the closet. Anywhere but outside. Yeah. Uh, Mary, do we get the taste like a cookie pie recipe? Oh, sure. Toll um, House. Yes. Just Google Toll House chocolate chip pie. And it's really like there's two kinds of sugar, eggs, butter, and flour chocolate chips. I think that that's it. Okay. So super easy to and make. And then you put well. it in a, a pie shell that you then bake. And then top it with, with whipped cream and... Ice cream. This cookie pie is fire. <laughs> um, any, and can you only join the stitch along if you're on Instagram? No, you no. can do it on Facebook too, or if you don't hashtag, or if you don't use social media at all, just stitch with us in yep. spirit and we will, um, and you can enjoy it that way. You don't have to have Instagram to do it, no. Uh, if you do use Instagram or you do use Facebook, hashtag Jolly, Jolly Housewives, Housewives SAL. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stitch along. Julia, do you all use hoops or do you stitch in hand? In hand. Yes, we all we both stitch in hand. I tried on a hoop when I first started, and I don't know. It wasn't easier. Um, we stitch on Monaco, which is much stiffer fabric, though, than, like, linen would be, so it's a little bit easier for us to stitch in hand. Mm -hmm. Amy, when will Priscilla be posting the colors to use on my Christmas list? They've already been posted because Fat Quarter Shop sells a floss bundle. And the, the ev pictures are taken of the whole thing so you can see where different colors were used. Okay. She went to finish it today, but she didn't have anything that she really loved. So I had planned on f putting it on this chicken wire frame that Kimberly had bought when she was out antiquing, and it's too big. So I the only thing I had was a red shutter, and I don't like it on the red shutter, so I've decided what I'm going to do, but I'll see if I can get to the store this week to get it done. Esther, I love your relationship. Have you guys always gotten along so well? I think so. Yeah, I mean, I had teenage years where, you know, I was rebellious or whatever. But, yeah, <laughs> this is a normal relationship. Yeah, we've always gotten along. Um, she has no choice. <laughs> <laughs> now I have no choice. She's my boss. <laughs> the 1952 Trouble. Uh, what tasso tea do you like? I like all kinds. Just English breakfast. English That's breakfast it. tea. Yeah, we don't like that's why I always joke. Ones. Um, so there was what was it that we had showed something and then we went to go get it and it was also about what was it? Well, it's been a lot of things, <laughs> that's been one of them, but the, we loved and we know that it was probably just a manufacturing issue, but it was a funny joke. All right, uh, Carol, how long was hands on design in your collaboration doing the just cross stitch magazine? I think I have them all, but not sure. It was only for one year, and then there was. One, two, three, four other series after that. So one year in the magazine. Mm -hmm. The whole year of 2016. Right. Okay. Then um, B Beck wanted to know, can you guys make a DIY needle minder tutorial? 
we've never made any. We, we have been um, graciously sent them as gifts. So we wouldn't know the first thing about putting them together. We know right. that there's professionals that do that. I think um, that they use E6000 and really strong magnets. Yes, really strong magnets. Uh, nefarious Stitcher, any upcoming plans to sew or crochet something for the new baby? Yes, um, definitely think, will be a crocheted blanket, but I just got to... I'm thinking that I'm going to wait until we find out the gender before I start anything. Yeah, and what their theme is. I don't, do they have a theme for everything? Like, I think they're, that they're waiting, aren't they? Right, I don't know. Um, all right, Cynthia, if you we'll could. We'll see them tonight. So. Yeah, we can ask. We'll ask <laughs> uh, Cynthia, if you could only stitch one other designer's patterns besides yours, whose would it be? Prairie Schooler. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah, <laughs> come here, honey. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> this is all <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> okay. We will get through these questions one way or another. Uh, Cynthia, if oh, you said Prairie Schooler. I think mm -hmm. mine would be either Country Cottage Needleworks or Little House Needleworks. I love their patterns. Uh, Brenda, there's a, I can't pick. That's a hard question, okay? Uh, Show Animals Pro, do either of you have any stitching you've done that stays up all year long? Well, uh, my Autumn ABCs stays <laughs> up all year long. <laughs> because I have it, and I don't want to take the shutter down because there would be holes in the wall. My plan was to stitch all four seasons, but just life got in the way. I don't think I do. You don't. No. Are you sure? Yeah. My plan was to stitch Hawk Run Hollow, Farms at Hawk Run Hollow, uh, to put above my door. And that, you guys know I'm still on the first block on that one. So, <laughs> Sandy, uh, how do you distress your wood items? Sandpaper, the stain. Yeah, you can do glazes, you can do mm -hmm. sandpaper. Uh, the frames, sometimes she just wipes off the paint. I mean, you could just take a rag and wipe off mm -hmm. a little bit of the paint where it's mm -hmm. raised up and it, the paint would go into the cracks and crevices. Mm -hmm. And then you have the, the wood showing through on the top, mm -hmm. different or ways you to paint do it. it very lightly. Yes. Dry like brush. a dry brush. Uh, Yvonne, she had two questions. How did you transition uh, to fancy floss? Like, was there a pattern that called for it that you just decided to use? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, what do you do with all the charts? Like, do you buy a chart? With plans to stitch it right then? Do you collect charts? What do you do with them? No, the char I collect charts. Yeah, I collect charts as well. Uh, and what do I do with them? I have baskets in my craft room that I just keep my charts in. I have one big basket, the freezer basket. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't been watching us, she had a, a basket from an old freezer that she used as her chart storage. It's metal and it's like that long and they fit perfectly in there. So. Yes. And I have them by seasons. Sherry, when did you think you started finishing your items this way? How long have you been finishing your stuff this way? The Priscilla way? Um, I would think either 2012 or 2014. So six, seven years. Cross it, it, it keeps like evolving and yeah, it's, it's a process. Mm -hmm. Cross stitch clouds. What kind of real tree do you buy? Fraja fir. Every Let's year. not get on the tree. <laughs> it's too soft this year. It doesn't hold the ornaments. It's right, you just... put one on and one falls off, or three fall off. It's so it it's gotten a little bit better, so I could finish decorating it, but it still doesn't have all the ornaments that she I usually, likes a crispy tree that I usually put on because the branches just are so soft. It's so fresh. It's so. right here. Mm -hmm. It's pretty though. I'll get up close and personal on the home tour. Do you know what this woman said to me the other day? I wish we had somebody professional to uh, <laughs> film my home tours. What woman? You! <laughs> you! I was just like, no, I does she I'd, know I'd, I'm sitting right here? No, I wish I knew something that knew how to edit really good so that they could have like special effects and everything in like it. Like with it snowing. My snow <laughs> effects weren't good enough for her. Not necessarily just snow, but like, I don't know. Better transitions, better zoom-ins. I get it. We're working on a budget here, okay? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I do it for my phone. <laughs> and I'm trying not to make people sick while I'm doing it. That's my main focus. No, you focus. do a really good job. I wasn't saying it that way. I was just saying it would be fun if it was, like, professionally done. 
All right, uh, if any of you are videographers, uh, let me know and you can come take a home tour. Janet, I missed it. Where do you find Sew by Row? Sew by Row is a Lori Holt pattern and uh, we got ours through fatquartershop.com. Michelle, do you sell any completed cross stitch work? I can't stick anymore and I would love to buy some already stitched. Unfortunately, we don't. Mm -mm. I don't know where you would get that. Maybe Etsy. You mm -hmm. could try Etsy.com and see if anybody sells their completed uh, stitch work. And Liz, is your village a certain brand? Your Christmas village? No. There's it's a mix and match. Wait, there's houses from Kohl's. There's houses from Department 56. Um, Menards. Menax. <laughs> well, Menards this year. <laughs> I used to work at Menards, so that's a little tribute. Joanne Fabrics. I got my first ones there. I can't think of anything else. Carol, is Ice Ice Baby a song? Yeah, by Vanilla Ice. <laughs> uh, Linda, <laughs> will the patterns for Punch Needle be released separately? Yes, but it takes a year after the magazine releases for us to be able to sell them. So. Right, so this coming spring, the spring tulips will be able to be released as a standalone pattern. Mm -hmm. And we haven't decided yet whether it's going to be a printed chart or a PDF. Mm -hmm. We just haven't figured out what we want to do yet. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Okay. I'm because it was already printed. Just a PDF. Right. It was already printed in the mm -hmm. in the publication. So maybe just a PDF for that one. Mm -hmm. All right. That's all the questions we have today. Okay. So we did another winter cup. Woo! And where did it go? <laughs> we didn't have, right here. We didn't have a release on Wednesday. Some people were upset about that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I think this coming week, we're not going to have a cup, but we're going to have an ornament. Yes. So. And then we'll take the rest of December off. And then in January, we'll start with okay, she just loves Valentine's. She knows we're not going to take the rest of December off. We'll have something each week. She knows it. <laughs> we will? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. But Without anyway, further ado. we'll have more cups in January. And then we have something new coming. So. Yes. A new little series that we're really excited about. We'll and tell you more about we'll, that probably next. We'll probably end up doing a few cups here and there. Like I have an idea for another group of them and, but it won't be like every month you're going to get cups. Right. You might get one every month. I don't know. We have to figure it out. What was, what was the first, this was the first cup. Okay. Yeah. So let it snow was the first one. These are kind of a sub series of let it, uh, Snowden with the housewives. Mm -hmm. They're what's in my cup, but it kind of went along with mm -hmm. the theme of Snowden with the housewives. Mm -hmm. So this is let it snow. Wait, these are the winter ones that you can keep up like through February. Do you want to know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of home alone. The man, the scary man with the shovel. He wasn't really scary at the end, but the scary man with the shovel. <laughs> do you remember him? Okay. That's what he reminds me of. Then there is sweater weather. That's the Fox. Next up was uh, Hello Winter with the Cardinal on this, the sled. And next, Ice Ice Baby with the mom ice skating and Nala down at the bottom. And then yesterday came Winter Joy. We had a hard time figuring out a name for this one. so <laughs> But we love the way that it turned out. It's a really pretty Cardinal with a couple of little Cardinals and a birdhouse down at the bottom. Lots of snow snowy branches with berries so and then I I had found this little tobacco basket in the spring at Walmart so I'm sure you can find a little tobacco basket other places so and then I just added greenery and like the really snowy greenery and that little joy tobacco tobacco basket came from Walmart in the ornament the mini ornament section okay super cute mm -hmm. it's a cardinal chicken just in case anybody's a bird fanatic, it's a cardinal chicken. <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> it, it's, Previous. It's, it's really hard to get good help. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so. This is one of my favorites. Right, but this. This is a uh, old Santa that I've had for probably, I don't know, 10, 15 years. And this is, what, what was this one called? Santa's List. Is it Santa's List? It's Country Cottage Needleworks. I did change the colors and all that info would be on my blog. And then I just put magnets and washers on here so I can store this with my cross stitch and this goes in the regular Christmas decor. And then I just add a little greenery trim to it. So I love to put this guy out. 
I just did him last year, I think, right? Yeah. And, you and did, I have one too. You did one too. That I found a Santa at a church rummage sale and we put hers on that. Maybe it's Santa Claus is coming to town. Mm. I It'll be listed below in the links. Anyway, it's on my blog last year. And then... Speaking of the blog, so I had a ton of questions in Etsy and email this week about uh, up on the house tap for the reindeer. So you saw Kimberly is has changed the chickens to reindeers. Mom put that on her blog. If you Google search reindeer Priscilla's 2000, it'll pop right up and you can see the chart there. I think it's in November. It's in November. Somebody else asked me what color brown you'd recommend using. And I don't know the color off the top of my head, but the brown... Uh, that, stems for the trees. Right. So, yeah, tree I, trunks. I think it might have been trail dust or cocoa bean. Right. The, whatever brown you're using for the tree trunks is what I would recommend mm -hmm. to use for the uh, mm -hmm. reindeer. Okay. This is a biggie. This is Santa's Village by Country Cottage Needleworks. And this is a thrift store frame. And I had a piece of wood cut that I painted with chalkboard paint. And I drew a little bit on there. And then when I hang this up, I put greenery up above it. But this hangs in the downstairs powder room. She did a trim of plaid ribbon around, right, the, around the inside of the frame and also on my blog today I did a bunch of finishes for Kimberly at Fat Quarter Shop and they're all showing that on there today there's a couple trucking alongs there's um what was the happiness is homemade right and then their fright night stitch along and then what's our our um Calvin and Trixie Calvin and, and then Trixie. she changed she put it to a, a pug, pug. Right, so I need you to send me those files so I can put them on the blog. Okay, so we can put them on the blog. <laughs> this uh, this is how many different pieces? 12 different mm -hmm. charts. So each and house I did is one a, a month. piece. One a month. And I can remember stitching on this when we were in Las Vegas for a bowl game sitting yeah. at the Starbucks in our hotel. Yeah. That one's a big piece of work. I have that started, and I have a very similar frame that we found at a... I think we found it on the side of the road. Mm-hmm. So, you guys, some of you guessed <laughs> last week, Chelsea's checks. We don't know if we're allowed to show you yet, but she said like the beginning of no uh, December. So, we're in the beginning of December. Right. But this is the Priscilla's Pretty Plaids. This is Priscilla's Pretty Plaids. This is the black and white check. And this is the Chelsea's checks. I just wanted to show you the difference. But they all come in the same colors as the Priscilla's plaids. Right. So you can use, you know, two of them together or however you want to do it. But the red and white, the black and white, orange and black, red and black, and then the gray and white. So we're not done. We have other plans too. So we can't tell you any of that, but that'll come later in the year. And we're very excited for all of it. I think these are supposed to come out in January. Right. So you can't order them yet or anything like that. So no rush well, I think or anything. shops can order them. But so Possibly. you might be able to get on a pre-order. Right. But we'll let you know all mm -hmm. that information as it becomes available to us. We just wanted but to I show you. But I did use it last week on Floyd and Flory the Blue. So Priscilla's Pretty Plaids are the bigger ones and Chelsea's right. Checks are the smaller. Oh, I was caught on her for a second. So this is Priscilla's Pretty Plaids. This we should, we is should have fixed the table. Chelsea's checks. It's because you have your Pioneer Woman. Have you guys seen Priscilla's Pioneer Woman plates? <laughs> if you haven't. <laughs> That's not what it is. It's because the, the carpet, <laughs> the table's not stuck in the groove of the carpet. I forgot. I brought in another previous finish. This is um, Bringing Home the Tree, Lori Holt, Fat Quarter Shop. So I stitched just the station wagon because it was a whole piece and then I put all the animals in it. There's it. And she did this on um what is that called? Oh some kind of gingham. Right. Um this isn't her typical Monaco. This right. is a it's a linen, isn't it? And it's it, it was 32, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. It was a 32. Mm -hmm. She was brave for that one. Yep, but Calvin's in the front and then Piper's in the middle and Ronnie's in the back. It's so Calvin cute. Calvin. Free Calvin. All right. Uh, this week for which I worked on my Jolly Housewives sale. So I decided to stick with uh, Merry Little Christmas for a few days. And now I'm going to start stitching something else. So I think I'm going to switch to an ornament of some sort. I might want to do some of the cups though. So 
this is a merry little christmas so the first day i got the up to here with the lights next day i did the have and started over here and then the next day i did the trees and this is on what what color is this evening blue coffee tea dyed flashed in the coffee tea not really right right just a, a short dunk yeah there's some coffee i think it's on I the back know, i don't know yeah, it's on the back that it's... No, this isn't coffee tea dyed. This was done on the ivory or what, what's the one called? It's not white. Yeah, the off-white um, Monaco. Yep, this is not coffee tea dyed. Oh. I'll show you coffee tea dyed. Okay. I retract my statement. It's not coffee tea dyed. But if you do it like on the off-white compared to the white, they do turn out a little bit different, so... Okay. Is it my turn? Yes. Okay, so... Oh my god. <laughs> For my first one. No. Oh, I got to show them one at a time. <laughs> Do you want me to edit it? <laughs> this is Santa's cookies. You finished this this morning? No, I finished it a few days ago. Wow. And I showed it when I showed my gingerbread tree on my blog. Okay. Anyway, the, we stitched them on the aqua fabric. And then this one... Kimberly did hers on the black and I saw somebody else do theirs on the black and I was like I gotta do it on the black so I did mine on the black it looks awesome yep awesome my hands aren't dirty by the way I was staining so anyway sure. we did a finishing tutorial and we did some little decoration on the back and the only thing that that I did different in these that I didn't do in that tutorial was I added that little Lori Holt vintage trim all the way around the outside. That's cute. Okay, so where'd you get this ribbon? Because that ribbon is fantastic. Look at how that's it from Walmart, and I only found one spool of it. So that's fantastic. You need to look in your store and see. Okay. And then today, this morning, I went down there and I finished this one because I finished stitching it yesterday, but I forgot to put the rick rick on before I put the the ribbon on, so I cut it and glued it. That's on nice. the sides. You can't even tell. This is Gingerbread Cottage. And then I used the 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 Chelsea's checks to cover the button. I used the Priscilla's Pretty Plaids for the whole thing and then the Chelsea's checks to cover the button. And it's so nice to have we're gonna the take these ones. we're gonna take pictures of these if she hasn't already and we'll add them to the Etsy listing as well so there's different so you can see different versions of it. Okay, so then after I finish that I started Mrs. Claus cookies, and that's in my little housewife's bag. It looks so good on the black. So good. See, we branch out to do different colors, and then we're like, well. Well, right, and then when I went to start Candy Cane Coop yesterday, I started on the black, and then I thought, oh, why shouldn't I do it in a different color so people can see something different? But it is coffee tea then. All right, maybe very little. It is. It is. It's coffee tea dyed, but like quick. This is candy cane coop. Look how pretty it looks on that evening blue. It's amazing. The browns mm -hmm. just... and the red. So I'm stitching this and then I'll try to come up with some different way for finishing. And that's in my Creative Carol bag with the Priscilla's Pretty Plants. <laughs> All right. And then that was for my Jolly Housewife stitching. Then I told you I wanted to work on a prairie schooler. Gosh, you haven't stitched on a key coffee tea dyed Monaco in how um, long? <laughs> with, with DMC floss. You haven't stitched on... <laughs> <laughs> okay, action. You, <laughs> you haven't... Wait, I have not stitched on coffee tea dyed fabric with DMC for like 12 years. No, I'm just kidding. It's, an, it's something different, though. It's very different when you go to Fancy Floss and you're stitching mm -hmm. on a hand dye. But seriously, fabric. if I hadn't already started this, I would have just gotten out Licorice Red and I would have stitched it. <laughs> <laughs> because it's already cut. What number is this? Um, this is 2016, I think. Yep. 2016. This is the controversial one with three legs. Some people add a fourth leg. I don't think you're going to, right? You're going to leave it? Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. The, it's very schooler. Yeah. Very score. You can't mess with it. You can't change the colors. You but anyway, I got his face done and the white, all the white done and the green on his hat. And I have a couple other ones started. I must have started these for Jolly July a year ago or I don't know what other stitch along we would have done that I, that I did all that. Maybe Stitch Mania. Mm. But this is in my Nikki's Notables bag with the ice skates. And it, it's got lots of room, so I have all those preschoolers that I've started with the Priscilla's Pretty Plaids. 
so fun. We love seeing all of your finishes with Priscilla's Pretty Plaids too. It's very exciting to see. I don't yes. know if you guys know that. It makes our hearts giddy each time. <laughs> we had some very sweet gifts this week. Um, this was a very sweet thank you. This is from Evelyn. Thank you so much. Then we got a Christmas card <laughs> from Long Dog. Long Dog. Long Dog, if you ever... Check out her hair. Is her hair perfect? <laughs> It, yes, everything about the picture is perfect. Look at the okay. sampler she's holding. It's absolute perfection. Mm -hmm. um, she always leaves the funniest comments on our videos about mm -hmm. mom's hair or uh, just very funny. We appreciate your humor. Humor. All right, then this is from Shannon. A thank you. A very, she oh, a few stamps. And she sent a few stamps too. Thank you so much. That's awesome. We always need stamps. <laughs> Another thank you. This, I think this was from last week. Yes, this was an older, that was, she sent uh, chocolates. Um, okay, and then we got these. Oh, wait, I gotta find the name of her shop. Okay, this was from Felicia. Felicia. Look at these. Sorry, Piper, you're snoring. Yeah, I was listening to headphones the other day, and you can hear Piper, like, groaning in the background. <laughs> Look it! It says Snowden with the housewives. Oh, my goodness. Where is it? Do, do, do. Ice, ice, baby. All right, do, do, read do, it. Do, I can't read do, it. Do, do. But she sent one for Chelsea and one for me. And she makes these. She must have an embroidery machine. She sells on a Facebook page called Sunny Girl Creations. So I'll link that below. Aren't they cute? Super cute. Super fuzzy warm. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I do have my fuzzy socks on today because it's 12 <laughs> degrees in mom's house. All right. And that it's was... It's 12 degrees. It's 67 degrees, but it always is. It's 12 degrees. Okay, we had giveaways last week. If you're new here, to enter in a giveaway, you answer the question that we asked. Be thinking of that one, Priscilla. And we, uh, you put the numbers that you're interested in. Sometimes we mislabel the numbers, so it, you just kind of got to keep up. That's part of it. It's part of the game. It's fun. Uh, we're here. To, it's fun. We're here to see if you can count this week. Um, all right. So we had uh, whip it. Where's whip it? We had giveaways. This it's week. on the tree. It's on my sewing machine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you're just going to have to visualize it. Mm. Uh, three opportunities to win. Whip it. This is going to be your YouTube name. So if you are entering for the giveaway, make sure you know your YouTube name. Email us at the email address in the description box below. Tell us what you won and we can mail it out to you. If it's a physical item, make sure that you leave your physical address so I can mail it to you. I forgot. I wanted to show this too. <laughs> Stop. Collaborate and listen. <laughs> for previous finishes, even though it's ours, he's one of my favorites. So... Rudolph and Mr. Claus. Rudolph and Mr. Claus. Kimberly was stitching this one up. We're so mm -hmm. excited to see everybody stitching mm -hmm. our stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she's like, can I show this? Even though we just showed it. Yeah, it's a previous one. Show it. All right. Can I continue now? Maybe. Okay. Whip it. <laughs> Angela G, Susan Jeffries, and Cindy Y. Next up was three copies of Ice Ice Baby. And again, these are PDFs. Mm -hmm. Uh, Connie Simonich, Leslie Tipton, Debbie Guastella. No, oh, and thank you all for participating in our Cyber Monday sale. Woo! Oh my goodness. So many people were so excited about the sale. We didn't even know. We were like, maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't. We went for it. All right. We, um, okay. Where is the, here we go. Merry little Christmas. Thank you. As always. A Merry Little Christmas. With these, you also get Lori Holt's label pack, the library cards. And these go to Tanya Parente, Sarah C., and Candy York. Congratulations. Next up, we had three opportunities to win Rudolph and Mr. Claus, what you just saw. The physical copy. If you win this and you want the... We're on 175. Or 176. I don't know where my phone is. <laughs> oh, it's Joanne's. <laughs> it's Joanne's. Uh, if you wanted a PDF, you can certainly tell me that, and I can send that to you instead if it's easier for you. Uh, the winners for this is Lisa Hudson, Sarah Mimosa Lane, and Monty Pep. 
Mimosa Lane. And next we have three opportunities to win February trucking along. These aren't even in bags yet. They're that fresh. This goes to Lisa Norton, Three Trail Stitchers, and Kim L.A. Nextly, three opportunities to win Hello Winter with the Snow People. This is Kathleen Ald, Linda K., and Teresa Chuckle. All right, next. You can put these back in there. They can go back in? Yeah, these are awesome. can go back in. So they're kept neat. Next was from a very generous viewer. This was Strutting Tom, and this goes to Diane Perkins. All right, and then we have the linen from Fat Quarter Shop. This is part of the L L Fabric of the Month Club, the mm -hmm. linen version. You get an 18-inch by 27-inch piece of natural linen, and then you also get from a generous viewer um, a set of needle minders. And the winners for this is Mary Jean Collier and Donna Bailey. We need to show this too. Yes. You can start opening that. Great. Next <laughs> up is from the Prim Stitch series from Lori Holt. This is number five of 12. There were 10 opportunities to win this. That goes to Shingle Springs Stitcher. Say that five times fast. Patty Klingspern, DB, Co Top Cat. Tina McNamara, McNamara, I think, Tanya Lukens, Kristen Morris, Martha Farner, Jeannie Clor, and Sue Pockrent. Lastly, courtesy of that quarter shop. Yes. Lastly are um, the five winners of a chart of your choice from our Etsy shop. So just email me what chart you'd like and I can send it right to you. And if there's nothing you want right now, if Save you already it. have everything. Then you can you can bank it. Yep. Uh, Louise Setzer, Mary Ann Taylor, Julie Lindsay, Nancy Lamiche, and Lucretia Bratton. Congratulations. Okay, can you open that? <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> yeah, but I have no nails. Either do I. Because I got my nails done that time. Now they're breaking off and it's she bad. She said, don't ever let me get my nails done again. That's what I said. It's bad. If we had a knife in this house... <laughs> There's lots of them in the dishwasher. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're going to cut yourself. <laughs> All that, and they put the tiniest hole in this thing. Okay, hi, we're back. All right, this is Floss Frenzy. So they started with Floss Fix, and that's the classic color works where you get six colors of a different six shades of a different color each month. This is Floss Frenzy, and that's the Weeks Dye Works equivalent to the same thing. This month was browns, and it is called Cinnamon Spice. So you get mocha, coca, chestnut, grapevine, molasses, and tatanka? Can you say that any faster? Well, I want them to just review it. <laughs> okay. That's what you get. That is from Fat Quarter Shop. So you can, I think they still have openings for that one, right? I think so. They don't have openings for um, the classic color works, but you can get on a list that if somebody drops out or mm -hmm. they have more openings that you could mm -hmm. do that as well. And that's a good way to kind of build up your fancy floss stash. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then for our Stitching with the Housewives group, mm -hmm. don't forget if you're going to join, answer the questions. Piper, Ronnie... Four-legged friend. Is not me. <laughs> right. And then the baby, of course, is cash. Yes. So make sure you put those so that I don't have to go look and see if you're a member of any other cross stitch groups. And then if you're not, then I delete you. So anyway. <laughs> not being harsh. We just want to make sure that you're mm -hmm. in the group for the right reasons, not mm -hmm. selling or doing mm -hmm. naughty things. Yes. Okay. And then do you have any ideas for a question? I don't, but you're going to think of that while I go through the giveaway so I can keep the numbers straight. I feel like you confuse me when you're helping me with the numbers, holding your fingers up. It's hard. You All right. Then you do it, and then you said I was wrong, <laughs> but I was right. The first giveaway is going to be three opportunities to win. Winter Joy. Winter Joy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, three opportunities to win Winter Joy as a PDF. 
Number two, and these are going to be from LaDonna, a sampling of memory. She is an Etsy shop and she takes our designs and converts them to sewing notions. Uh, so you can get a little like floss fob or scissor fob and pair it with your pattern if you're going to be stitching our designs. Let's, let's not do them separately then, then it'll save you numbers. You'll okay. Get, they just get a random one. These so this are, is number two. These are from our Jolly Delight ornaments. There's going to be four opportunities to win number two. There's Santa, Mrs. Claus, and then the two trucks. Right. Number three, th these are from a generous viewer who gave us like cases. Of ninety percent of her stash. It, I mean, incredible. This is number three. It's buttons and beads series frosty snowman. So that's a mail fill kit, and it comes with the perforated paper, paper, the floss, the beads, everything buttons. you need for it. Yep. Number four is going to be the gingerbread house. Another mail fill pattern. Number five is dinosaur. Uh, number five is Holly Jolly Christmas, October 2016. Wow, you got something to fix it. And I think that this one has yeah, yeah, yeah. this one has the fabric inside, so you get the fabric in the chart. Oh, number six is vintage Chris Christmas sampler. This is by Lori Holt. These are if you're a beginner, this would be a fabulous pattern to do because you can do these all individually to kind of mm -hmm. get yourself like a small um, collection of ornaments going. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a real, it's a color chart too, so it'd and be that's really from simple to do. Shop. What number am I on? <laughs> Seriously? One, yes, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's because I just started talking. What I about, just what can't stop those? talking. Yeah, that was number two. Okay. Three, four, five, six. Numbers, you know, I need a viewer to just come here every Saturday morning and hold up numbers. Number seven is going to be winter time, and it comes with a piece of Lin La Lugana. Number eight is gingerbreads ready with a piece of fabric. Number nine is a Teresa Koga CW sampler. That's from Fat Quarter Shop too. From Fat Quarter Shop. This is Pet All the Dogs. This is the, the Oh, chart. sorry. Pew, pew. Number 10 is going to be also from Fat Quarter Shop. It is three opportunities to win Sew by Row. Number 11 is one opportunity to win Bonnie and Camille, the Quilt Bee book. There are some beautiful quilts in here. The 11th? Number 11. And number 12. Wait, should we count again? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven is from Carol. Two. This was using the uh, Priscilla's Pretty Plants. Kind of so she sent us two snowman bags last week, plus this one, and Chelsea and I didn't want to fight over it, so we decided we were going to give it to you. Yes. <laughs> It's a so beautiful thank bag. You, thank you so on. much, Carol. Thank you, Carol. Yeah, the Bye. bags are perfect. Come here. You want to say hi to your friends? Bye. Bye. Okay, come on. So also, the question you're going to answer, what, are, what question are they answering? Well, let's wait a minute. Whoa. Remember last year when we did that where you write to us and tell us about <laughs> someone that's had a rough year and we send them, there's one box for quilting and one box for cross stitch. We're going to do that again this year. Yeah. So if you know someone that needs some extra cheer from the housewives, email us at the, the real housewives of cross stitch at gmail.com and it's listed below and tell us about your friend, your relative, whatever that you need to nominate for this. And then we'll pick two people. We don't announce who we send it to, but we pick, we pick one for quilting, one for cross stitch and we send them out a box of, Oh, How long are we going to give them to do that? I don't know. I think. It's up to you. Two weeks? Maybe we should just do a week so okay. then a week and maybe get it out so that they can have it by Christmas okay. if not like the week in between Christmas and New Year's. Sure. So a week. Mom? But oh, you, you have to you have to be able to give us their address for us to send them box. Right. So you'll just email us at the the email address in the, the description box below and tell mm -hmm. us, you know, who you're nominating and you don't have to get super personal, just who you're nominating and maybe a little bit about why or their story. Um, and then we pick randomly mm -hmm. from there and we send them out again. We don't, we don't announce who we send those to just because some things can be super private. All right. But the question that you're going to answer this week is, I don't know. Um, yeah. Maybe should we say what's your favorite Christmas chart right now? Yeah. 
What okay. what favorite Christmas design are you stitching right now? It doesn't have to be ours. Right, and you don't even have to be stitching it right now. What what's your favorite Christmas design right now that you can think of? Okay, that's perfect. Yep, and it'll be good to read all those. All right, this week, um, excuse me, tomorrow we plan on doing the home tour as long as everything goes well, and then we will post it later in the week. Probably Wednesday. Yep. Anything else? <laughs> He's just collecting. Yeah. He likes to stack. Yeah. Two. Yeah. One. Two. You want to show him this? Yeah. Okay. Say cheese. Yeah. Good job. Mm. It's beautiful, right? Don't hit the chandelier. Calvin. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. Are you going to tell everybody bye? He Say bye. He even blew him a kiss. Mwah. Okay. Hop down. Yeah. All right. So follow Thank us you. on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine, at Chelsea 356, Priscilla's 2000 on Facebook, and Priscilla's 2000 at blogspot.com, where you can see more of everything that we do. And don't forget to go over there today and see all of Kimberly's finishes. They're yes. really pretty. Also, you need to send me the pugs. Also... <laughs> If you get your finishing inspiration from us, tag us, tag my blog. We'd love to see your projects. And we hope that you're joining us for the Jolly, Jolly Housewives House sale. Stitch along. They they are out of a few sizes of the mommy, shirts if you haven't gotten one, mommy, but they are supposed to get more in. So okay, that's great. So they will restock them, and then it, you just get on the email list, and they'll be able to let you know when they're in stock. Mm -hmm. And a lot of you participated in their Black Friday sale for them as well, or any other mm -hmm. goodies that they had uh, for us. And we really appreciate that. It was yes. exciting to see people stocking yes. up. And I think next week we'll do another one of those. We won't announce it today, but we'll announce it next week for another selfie because by then everybody should have gotten their stuff. Yeah, that sounds perfect. And then also to comment on the video, comment here on YouTube, not on Instagram, not on Facebook, not an email here on YouTube and you go down to the comment section. Did they move it again? Is it down at the bottom? I, don't, I thought it was right. And then you answer the question, what's your favorite Christmas design? Wardrobe change. So follow <laughs> us on Instagram. She has frostbite. <laughs> <laughs> Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea 356. Priscilla's 2000 on Facebook and Priscilla's 2000 at blogspot.com. And make sure you go over there and see how Kim release finishes today. And what else have I posted lately? The gingerbread tree. Oh, my bedroom. And the kids bedroom <laughs> <laughs> and somebody on, on Instagram or Facebook said who sleeps in here it would be perfect for a children's bedroom and she's like I do <laughs> um all right we had to do we had to redo the ending because Cash went down here and just started screaming at the top of his lungs and we knew that would just blow the people who listened to it on headphones out of the water mm -hmm. um so we wanted to make sure that you could hear us so we appreciate you joining in on the Jolly did, did House. Did we get the part about how they're supposed to email us? <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was on sure? there. Yes. Um, thank you for joining in on the Jolly Housewife style. We are having so much fun stitching with Kimberly and all mm -hmm. of you. We appreciate you joining in um, and taking the time to stitch our right. designs. It really And it's so fun really to go on Instagram and see all the people yes! with the hashtags. And yeah, it's great. Who finished this? Is it Viking? Traveling Viking Mama. Yeah. She finished. She's the one with the dog that knows who I am. Molly. <laughs> Molly yes. the dog. Incredible. She had like half of it stitched by like 8 right. o'clock or something. I did release it early. I released it at midnight the night before I think it was. Oh. I, I knew, saw it at 4.30 in the morning. Because I knew that I was going to be But it was funny how she finished two. it because remember I went down the basement yes, with the house with the to house. finish it? And she then used, I was like. Oh, we don't have it here. One of the, the small wooden houses that you right can. right here. Oh. Okay. She took this down to. Mm -hmm. Just finish mm -hmm. it the same way. Either That's that funny. or the Silent Night one behind me. I yes. thought it would look really cute. Somebody else finished Silent Night and was talking about their memories with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's we have to make different this year. Yeah, we have to make an appointment. We have to like make a reservation. Mm -hmm. Is what it. We, so we're still going to go, but we have to make a reservation to go. All right. We appreciate you spending your time with us. We will see you next week. Bye.